Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Game of Night. I'm going to basically show you what's in the box here, Space Cadets. Um, I took care of it, sleeved everything and stuff like that. So, got things in baggies, so I'm going to kind of go over what we get in the game. So, uh, yeah, different alien ships in this. There's a whole bunch of different ones. You get the captain's um, special ability cards here. During round two, this is an ion flux card. It says reset ship speed to any value. Um, matrix stabilizer. Swap shield points between two shields. So you got different um, special ability cards. As well as a little nemesis marker here. Uh, it's in the box. Really tiny, I didn't want to take it out. Then we have your little ship token that you use to navigate on the board, as well as different enemy ships. This is the nemesis in detail here. Stats you got like a seal, shield drone. Vengeance, Stiletto, Monster, Boss, as well as the different crystals you collect during the game. You, for certain missions, you gotta collect these crystals. Some of these are promo ones. You're supposed to get like uh, promo cards to go with them. I don't have the um, have those. You get a little core breach token. A little green token there. It's two sided. I can't really see it. And then you have these core breach cards. Right upside down. Sorry. Core breach cards. And they depict a design here. And depending on how bad the, you reach the core, you have different ones, different shapes. And what you're supposed to do is go through these and try to find the pattern that matches your your core breach in order to fix it, to patch it up. So that's the core repair deck. Then we have the sensor department. We get a little felt bag here. 3D's little lock tokens, super lock and regular lock. And then you have the sensor target cards, which look like these. And you're supposed to reach into the little bag and pull out the matching token here. So, yeah, like that. So they're all in different types of shapes. <clears throat> and you have some repair cards. I'll tell you on die rolls and what they fix. 
some automatically will fix, and some will automatically do damage to your ship. And then you got the um, structural damage cards for each um, section of the ship. You also have like some kind of failure that will go wrong if you get damaged. And these are just randomly determined. And you have four sides of the ship. The, the front, back, left and right. I know there's technical terms for them, but right now I'm kind of like, my mind's just not thinking about it. <clears throat> And then you have these jump cards here. And during the jump phase, the player will try to meet the requirements on top so he can get the card on the bottom here. So you're basically trying to um, meet the requirements to get these cards so you can later have a successful jump at the end of the game. And then we have the maneuver cards. And these that's a stick you turn. You have a drift. If you've ever played Robo Rally or um Great space race, you'll kind of understand how those work. Next, we have the weapons department. And you get these weapon cards, these are torpedo cards. Different ones. What you're supposed to do, and you have 30 seconds, my head, is to take a whole bunch of these little pieces that I'm laying on the board, and you're trying to place them in the um, spots, filling all these areas without overlapping any token, air, any space. So you basically got to fill in every one of those spaces without having any gaps or running over or overlapping another piece so it's kind of like you have it's a spatial puzzle tractor beam puzzle pieces and there they have numbers as well as colors to them and shapes so and you're trying to match those colors to um to the to solve the, to finish the puzzle then you've got these little pieces these are the Shields, and you're trying to make a, like a poker hand with these two um, keep your shields up. And these are the uh, crystals and different projectors in the game. And then we have the engineering department. And you're basically trying to connect these tiles so you complete 
symbol, and that, that's what energy is going to go to that department. So as an engineer, you have to decide who needs energy, to what department, and um, fulfill that. And these are damage tokens. They got a three on one side and a nothing on the other. This is the trajectory board. And you will be flicking the torpedo disc on this board to aim at the ships. The farther you go up on the board, the more damage you're going to do. Of course, it's also, if you go off the board by any way, then you're done. Then you have the rule book, which is very illustrated. And as well, on the back of the book, it has missions you do. There are six missions. Then you have ten of these. They're different tiles. They're the maps of the sectors in the game. So and then each department has their boards. This is the sensors boards. The helm. Shields. damage and repair sector the captains tractor beam section sorry player and jump drive section section. You also get a 30 second timer. And then five dice. Six sided dice. So um, that's what you get in this box. It's got a lot of stuff and I'm going to be playing it this weekend. I'm not going to be filming it because the people I'm playing with don't like to be on camera. So. But I will do a review and a how to play video for you guys. For those that are interested. So. Thanks for watching.